Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this Lua Thirds. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff, but cool. Let's get to it. On the edit page, go to effects, under effects, go to fusion comp, bring a fusion comp in. Right click on the fusion comp and go to fusion page. Let's close this line editor so we make some space down here. Bring in a text plus node, drag that to the viewer. You have this. Let's type resolve as the text. Then let's set the size to 0 0.05 so that we can see the safe space to put lower thirds on the screen. Right click, go to guides and go to show guides. So we see this. We're going to position the text somewhere around here. So I'm just going to go here. Click on this, drag this to the corner there. So it sits just about there. Then you bring in a transform node. Connect text one to the transform node. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to right click on the center of this transform on the inspector and go to modify with vector results. I'm going to go to modifiers. Then for the distance, I'm just going to right click on it, modify with anim curves. Now for this one, I'm going to set the curves easing. Easing, I'm going to set it to circ. Then ease out, I'm going to set that also to circ. 0.05. I want this to now be minus 0.05. If we drag this to the viewer, and let's say we set this to 5, the time scale to 5. You know, go here and play this. You see, we have that. The next thing we need to do is create a wipe for this text as it slides in. I'm going to click on this text, right click on it, copy, click on a blank part of the node grid, right click on it and paste instance. An instance is an exact copy of this but if I make a change here or here, it gets replicated across both of them. But there's a nifty thing about this instance thing, I can pick any of the controls here by right clicking on it and clicking on the instance to disconnect it from the relationship it has with this other node here. So to do that for this node now I'm going to go to shading tab for the instance. I'm going to go down here for the appearance I'm going to right click on this. In the appearance I'm going to de-instance it. I'm going to go here and click on this border fill. If I now drag this to the viewer we see we have a solid white. Now for this border fill, I want the level to be line so that even if you have some space in between the characters, it doesn't really affect, it doesn't create some funny spaces in between the border fill. So I'm just going to go to vertical, right click on vertical, de-instance it, That's, that means I'm disconnecting it from here. I'm going to increase this by 0 0.05, just very slight. So I'm going to use this to wipe this. But to do that, I need to actually cause this to from zero to just wipe in like so. I'll bring in the transform node, connect this to the transform node, drag this to the viewer, uncheck use size and aspect so we have X size and Y size. I'm going to right click on Y size, modify with anim curves. We go to modifiers, then for the curve, we set easing to circ is out to circ. Then the scale we want it to be from 0 to 1.05 and then we want this to be 5 and then we want this to be from 0. So if we play this back you'll see that we have something like so but it's expanding from the center so we need to go back to this transform go to tools and set the pivot for x to 0 0.1 and the pivot for y to 0 0.1 so that way if i zoom in you'll see what i did you see this cross here here it's sitting right here so it's sitting at the co exact corner of this but i need to position this but i feel a little better so i'm going to move it forward just a wee bit move this up just a wee bit okay now if we play this back we see this now properly aligned. So now we want this after it has expanded to now collapse into a line. I'm going to go to transform 2, go back to tools, 
Then for Y size, I'm going to right-click on it, modify with anim curves. Go to modifiers. For the curve, set it to easing. The easing to suck. Is out to suck. Then we're going to set this to one, and then we want this to be 0 0.985 minus. So what this does is it's going to subtract my 0 0.985 from one. So you're going to get 0 0.015. And I want the scale here to be 15. And this, I want this to start from 0 0.25. So if you go here and play this back, like so. Now I want this now to wipe this, this text. So I'm just going to move this back. I'm going to move in a matte control node. Connect this to the matte control node. Right click on the output here and drop it on the matte control node and click on garbage matte. With the matte control still selected, go to your inspector, expand garbage matte and click on invert. If I drag this to the viewer, you see here we now have it's like so. Now we want as this text is getting revealed, I want that white, this white field to be at the background and invert the color of the text. So what we're going to do is bring in a merge node. Connect this to the background of the merge node and connect the matte control to the foreground of the merge node. Now for this merge node, go to inspector, go to operator and select stencil. Let's drag this to the viewer. And then if we play this, you see we have that. But you notice that when this thing goes down, the text disappears. We need to correct that. So to fix this, I just copy this. I right click and I paste an instance of this transform to. I go to X size here. I'm going to de instance X size. And um, I'm going to double click on this to remove the anim curves on it then set this to 1.05 so that way this just stays if I connect this text the instance here here so we just have this if I go here we just have this from the beginning to the end it just stays like so I'm now going to bring in a matte control node Right click on this, drop this on the matte control node and connect it to garbage matte. And connect this text to the matte control node. I'm going to bring in a merge node. Connect this to the foreground of the merge node. Connect the output of here to the background and drag this to the viewer. So if we go to the beginning, we drag this, play this back. Very simply done and we are done with the text. Straightforward stuff, guys. Very straightforward stuff. Play it one more time. Okay, so that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you how this is done. Simple, straightforward. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one. Cheers.